Hello and welcome to another DSpace Learning Bits. My name is Gregor Hordes. I'm responsible product manager for the focus topic Data Replay. Today I'm happy to have Mehdi from Neurocut here on my side to talk about a new topic we call Augmented Data Replay. Mehdi, thank you for being with us. Could you please briefly introduce yourself? Hi, hi Gregor. Thanks uh, for int the introduction. My name is Maddie Vasavakala, go-to-market manager at Neurocat with responsibility for sales and marketing initiatives. What is Augmented Data Replay about? For testing and validation of full AD stack, automotive OEMs must develop comprehensive test strategies, which are a combination of different test methods like real test drive, closed loop hill, and also data replay. Data replay is about injecting real data like camera images, LiDAR point cloud and radar data into device under test for validation of computer vision and AI-based perception and data fusion algorithms for automated driving. To achieve a good test coverage, lots of sensor data needs to be recorded in advance. And you probably know the situation when you locked some nice traffic scenarios by perfect weather conditions, and you could successfully test your perception algorithm based on that. Now you are wondering if the results would be the same under heavy rain conditions. One option is to wait for bad weather and spend more money and time for a new logging campaign. The other one, to replay using augmented sensor data. Mehdi, what are the typical use cases where data augmentation can be used for replay? So the, the most important uh, use cases of uh, data augmentation are, one, enhancing the diversity of the data set for the targeted ODD conditions. Just like you mentioned, Gregor, if one is targeting to test their perception functions for weather conditions, such as, let's say, rain, fog, or snow, and if they lack the data in their original test coverage, augmentation approaches can be used to enhance the data set for the targeted conditions. Next is that of simulating long tail scenarios, rare or unexpected scenarios which are not frequently captured in the real world data collection can be simulated using data augmentation. This helps in preparing the system for unusual but critical situations. Having achieved the data diversity for training perception functions, one can further use augmented data for testing and validation purposes. Augmented data can be used to rigorously test the perception system's performance under various scenarios using data replay approach, which is crucial in ensuring safety and reliability of the functions. The augmentation topic is not really a new one. What are typical approaches and their drawbacks today? And how does NeuroCAD's data augmentation differ from those most used methods? Approaches that are predominantly employed include basic image manipulations, such as taking an original image and adjusting them for functions such as rotation, scaling, cropping, flipping, and adding noise. Next is photometric transformations, such as adjusting brightness, contrast, and color saturations to simulate different lighting conditions. Next are geometric transformation, such as warping images to mimic different camera angles. Finally, synthetic overlays, such as adding weather elements, be it rain, fog, or snow, or mimicking uh, uh, objects in order to simulate rare occurrences and rare events. Main drawbacks include limited realism. Basic manipulations may not adequately capture the complexity of the real-world scenarios that happen in automotive functions. Next is generalization challenges. Models trained on augmented data may not generalize well to the real-world uh, data, especially if the augmentation doesn't accurately reflect real-world variations. Due to the limited realism and the generalization challenges, augmentations can introduce bias if not carefully managed leading to skewed model performance. NeuroCAT's augmentation methods are designed to specifically overcome these drawbacks. NeuroCAT offers context-aware augmentations. 
to achieve the needed realism for augmented uh, images we at neurocat have developed an approach that not only adds weather elements to the images and the sequences but also affects changes to other parameters of the frame that are relevant due to the occurrence of rain fog or snow for that matter next neurocat's augmentations are designed for customer specific use cases to overcome the bias and the generalization challenges which i mentioned our augmentations are also tailored to customer specific use cases to ensure that augmented data reflect closer to the real data captured by the customers let us have a look at video sample with augmented camera data to see how realistic it feels compared with original recording. Maybe you can briefly explain what we see on the screen. So here is the recording of the data with rain. What do you think, Gregor? At least for me, it looks like real life recording. Frankly speaking, I would not be able to say which is the augmented data and which is the original one. How to prove that augmented data is good enough to validate computer vision algorithms? One of the most commonly followed approach is to conduct performance training using these approaches. First, with the data set that includes a fair weather data and an adverse weather data, let's say rain, and then compare it with a data set that consists of fair weather data and an augmented adverse weather data. Having conducted these trials, then use a metrics that are relevant for one's use case. Realism of the images can be established. Once the realism is assured, teams can be confident of using the data to validate computer vision algorithms. After this promising start, what can we expect to come up next? And where are the limits? Having successfully cracked the challenge of augmenting realistic weather conditions for frames and achieving temporal consistency for sequences, our team will now start focusing on evaluating approaches to augment objects into frames and sequences. Further down the line, we aim to extend our offerings to other sensor modalities such as radar and LIDAR in order to offer augmentation for entire sensor fusion components. Thank you again, Mehdi, for the insights. We are looking to hearing from you again. Thank you for watching Learning Beats, and I hope you enjoyed today's talk. See you next time. DSpace, your partner in simulation and validation.